people often ask me about where I get my ideas from. Um, ideas are, can come from anywhere, really. With me, locations are very strong. My novels are set on the south coast of England and they're marketed as marine mysteries. Um, so because I live near the sea and I write about marine mysteries, the sea and the coasts and the bays have all got an influence in helping me decide um, or come up with new ideas for novels. Um, in Tide of Death, uh, Andy stumbles across a naked body on the beach and the idea for that novel came obviously when I was looking at South Sea Beach and I thought what if he finds a body on the beach? Um, and again with locations, when I was looking for an idea for the suffocating sea, I thought about uh, one of the many marinas on the south coast and I thought what if there is a body on a boat and the boat happens to be burning in a marina and so the idea for the suffocating sea was born. So locations have a large part to play in where I get my ideas from but ideas can also come from overheard conversations as in, in cold daylight uh, when I overheard um, a number of firemen on my husband's watch talking about the high number of firefighters from one particular watch who had contracted cancer and how unusual that was and whether it was linked to a past incident. And that gave me the idea um, for the thriller in cold daylight. I also um, got the idea for In for the Kill, which is another one of my thrillers from a location. And my husband and I were on the Isle of Wight one day and we were driving through Newport and in Newport on one side of the road you have the hospital complex and on the other you have the prisons, Parkhurst, Camp Hill, Albany Jail. And I could see this man stepping outside one of the prisons in my mind and I thought, who is he? Um, why was he in prison? What's he done? Um, is he guilty or was he innocent? What's he going to do next? So I got the idea for In For The Kill from that location. But ideas can come also from newspaper articles, uh, magazines, uh, the news that you hear on the radio or the television, even from dreams and from real life stories. Uh, it's a case of being open to ideas and to jotting them down. Developing ideas into plots, though, is a whole different ball game, and that's where it gets tricky.